Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. We have more potential new Pokemon for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We also have some new Nintendo Switch updates and also some new rumors to take a look at for the Generation 9 game. So quite a few things to cover today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have a new potential Pika clone for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. This was translated by Poki Sutami and this popped up. In fact, I think it was sent to her actually. And she says, TLDR, I mean, the text here is all super short and there isn't much in it, but I do have some notes. Um, so yeah, this is the new apparent Pika clone for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I absolutely love it. I think this is a really cool little like Pikachu clone. I mean, it, it, if this was real, it could easily be like, Maybe my favorite Pika clone, to be fair. It's a Mulga at the moment, but I actually really like it. Um, so it's an electric normal type, which I think, if this is true... It, it, I mean, electric normal is a bit boring. I think this could have been like electric ice or something like that, and it would have been a lot cooler. I know ice isn't the greatest typing out there, but electric normal is kind of boring. But I absolutely love the design of this. And then here it is just asleep, I guess, and it's tired. And then also it has anger here, and it looks a little bit annoyed. Um, so yeah, that's the only Japanese that was obviously on this um piece but yeah i mean I'm, I'm a big fan of it i don't think it's real i think a lot of these are just kind of jumping on the trend but i think one of them will eventually be real <laughs> we just don't know which one but either way this is the new uh pika clone apparently for pokemon scarlet and violet uh, and this is just some information by pokey sutami saying found on 4chan and reddit never mind it wasn't sent to her i think that was the different one i think that was um a drowsy one that popped up anyway number one not much text here, so can't really judge so much based on the Japanese, but I feel like Game Freak would want a lot more details. Uh, number two, text one and two are fine. If I'm being uh, pedantic, in text three, it would be better to use this symbol instead of that. Um, this is a noun, and it's the emotion anger, but this is a verb, is to be angry, and I just think that this symbol would be a better fit. I mean, I think it's fake. The extreme lack of detail in the text is a good way to avoid having Japanese called out, but I don't think it would be accepted as an actual concept art. Yeah, I, I don't think it would be accepted as concept art either. It, it very much looks like um, someone has just taken um, some fan art or just created some fan art and just whacked it on a, a white background, done the minimal amount of Japanese text, and then been like, yep, yeah, that's it. Jobs are good and sorted. And then just posted it on Reddit, which again we're going to be seeing a lot of, and we have been seeing a lot of since that Fue Coco evolution. It's been non-stop for these, um, but yeah, this is a, a Pika clone. I really like it. I don't think it's true, but it looks really, really cool. The art also looks a little bit off as well here, where it's like falling asleep. I don't know. It just the stance looks a little bit different. I don't know. Either way. Let me know if you think this is true. Next thing we're going to go over is this post. Um, again, this was posted on 4chan. It is a new rumor for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. It was posted by Blonded Surfer. And they say 4chan posts alleging box covers are released late May. So this actually gives us a time frame. Um, so we'll know if this is true or not. I like when they give you a time frame. Because if they say like, oh, something's happening on the 28th of May. And then it gets to the 28th of May and it's actually true. Um, then all the other things on the rumor are much like much more likely to be true as well so that's why i like when they give you like a little bit of a time frame anyway next trailer is in june and battle mechanics in september um so this was the post that says fue coco's final evolution is green and red flames as spikes on his back glowing yellow eyes under the skull face and then sprigatito's final evolution has a chest piece which are blossoms uh, and then they blossom into a flower that surrounds its head and ears like a crown and then Quoxley's final evolution, it has feathers and the tail creates a cape, a crown slash Jack Sparrow hat. So yeah, they're kind of going off of things that we already expect them to kind of look like um, for the start of final evolutions for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Anyway, Violet Legendary is a serpentine dragon which has golden fangs. It has the ability to fly like Rayquaza despite the lack of visible wings and it has two different forms. And then the Scarlet Legendary is a bird dragon, so it's a phoenix, and that also has two forms. I would really like to see, like, a phoenix kind of uh, legendary Pokemon. That would be really cool. Um, but, I mean, both of these sound pretty, you know, insanely cool. So, I, I mean, I'd be down for these. Um, and then Box Arts released on the 26th of May. So, apparently, that's not going to be released in a trailer. They're just going to be released 
on their own. Um, and then that's going to be on the 26th of May, which is a... Um, it is a Thursday, um, so yeah, I mean, they usually release stuff on a Thursday, so you know, they've done the research. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would love to see the box arts, but at the same time, if they're gonna drop the box arts before, like, they show a trailer, where I'm guessing, um, they would show, like, legendaries and stuff, then that means the box art's not gonna have legendaries on it, it's gonna be similar to the Legends Arceus one. Anyway, in mid-June, we have another trailer, which will show the Professor, the starters evolving into the second stage. I think it's way too early for the second stage star evolutions in June. I don't think we usually get those until a little bit later down the line. And then a glimpse of two gyms, Starting Town, and a few POIs. And the battle mechanic is also revealed in September. I think that's way too late for the battle mechanic to be revealed as well. I'm pretty sure that we had, like, Z-moves and Mega Evolutions and all that revealed way before. Like, because if it does come out in November, they're not going to drop the battle mechanic two months before the games come out. No chance. Uh, this is what people are saying. Uh, doubt this is real, but at least we don't have long to know for sure when they're given the exact date. Uh, the battle mechanic has never been revealed that late. Yeah, you'd think they'd show the battle mechanic at E3. It's not super late, if I remember correctly. Mega Evolutions weren't revealed until late July or August of 2013. I can be wrong, though. Edit, yeah, Megas weren't leaked until August 2013 from Koro Koro. I mean, yeah, August, September. I mean, August, September, October, November. I mean, a few months before... I guess, but I don't know, it just feels way too late for me, September. And that could be like late September as well, which I think would be... I mean, we, we're just assuming the release date is going to be November again. It could be like December, because Legends Arceus came out in January, but we'll have to wait and see. Not much of a reason to believe this, but only time will tell. Um, so they know when the battle mechanic is going to be revealed, but they don't know what it is. Sounds like someone wasn't creative enough to think of a realistic one when making up this leak. Battle mechanic revealed is September. That one bit already tells me it's fake, because they aren't waiting until two months before release date to show off the main mechanic in these games. Yeah, Dynamax was shown off in the second Galar trailer. See, this rumor loses all possibility at a June trailer showing all, uh, the second forms of the starters. I mean, going all the way back to Gen 4, Star Revolutions have only ever been officially revealed three times from Gen 4 to 8 before release. That was Gen 5, 6, and 7, and never so early in the news cycle. So yeah, this definitely screams fake. Um, I like the sound of a couple of these legendaries and obviously the Star Revolutions, but I don't think they really tried that hard to kind of come up with something more believable um so yeah i'm calling fake but again we'll have to wait if 26th of may the box arts drop again it could be a coincidence but i guess it gives it a little bit more legitimacy anyway next up um we're going to be talking about this here which is a post on nintendo life about the nintendo switch and its successor and stuff and there's a little article that they wrote and it says nintendo says it wants to avoid a repeat of the wii u with switch's successor so obviously the wii u crashed and burned i never even got one um, but I've heard, only heard bad things about it, and obviously the Wii was really good, so they basically don't want that to happen again. So since Nintendo announced its financial results yesterday, where it revealed that the Switch has now sold more than 107 million units worldwide, and predicted that profits would again drop in the next financial year, there's been an awful lot of chatter about a Switch successor, hasn't there? So in a Japanese investor Q&A, um, Nintendo president has spoken about the results and the future of the company and the Switch's successor uh, indeed came up during the talk. So despite saying that the Switch was only in the middle of its life cycle back in February, um, they basically acknowledged that it wouldn't be around forever, but that the transition to a new next-gen console is a major concern for Nintendo. And they said the Switch's smooth launch has allowed them to plan and develop for the console even after over five years, but they are focusing on building long-term relationships with customers in order to alleviate as much risk as possible for the hybrid's future successor. So this is basically what they said. So unlike the past, we continue to have a large variety of games scheduled to be released even beyond five years of release. Um, this is because the Nintendo Switch has had such a smooth launch, allowing us to focus all our development resources on a single platform. However, the question of whether we will be able to just as smoothly transition from the Nintendo Switch to the next generation of hardware is a major concern for us. Based on our experiences with, uh, use, with the Wii, Nintendo DS, and other hardware, it is very clear that one of the major obstacles is our easily transition from one her hardware to the next. Help alleviate the risk we're focusing on building long-term relationships with customers while we continue launching new software on the nintendo switch we also provide services that also use nintendo accounts and other ip outside of gaming software we intend for this to help build a lasting impact with our customers so given that production of the 3ds stopped in 2020 and the 3ds eShop is closing in 2023 if you didn't know that that's the thing that's happening nintendo's focus on a single piece of hardware has cleverly uh, has clearly worked in its advantage the Switch hasn't seen any major sales issues since it dropped in 2017, with numbers continuing to rise at an extremely good pace. It's currently the fifth best-selling console of all time in the world, after all, which is kind of crazy. I did not know that. 
We all know that the Switch will need a follow-up at some point, even if it's just a significant, beefier Switch 2. This discussion was heightened again yesterday as Nintendo reported that hardware sales have begun to slow, though much of that has been down to the global chip shortage. So the company may need something, even if it's just a plan um, like they suggested. It's something we've considered a lot over the last year, and yesterday's results prompted that piece from us. So yeah, might actually be getting some news on a Switch successor in the near future. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment on your thoughts. What do you think about this rumor here for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? And also, what are your thoughts on the Pika clone? Subscribe if you're brand new. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Until next time, peace.